Welcome back to another special episode of the Ties Cincinnati Real Estate Reviews. And today I have a special co-host, Cody. Hey, Cody, say hi to everybody. Cody is our little uh, toy poodle. We have four dogs here, uh, the Ty family. And so today's episode is all about pet-friendly things you can do with your dogs. So we're gonna give you the top 10 most fun things that you can do with your pet in the greater Cincinnati, Ohio area. And stay tuned at the end, I'm gonna give you a couple bonus ideas as well. Let's go. Welcome back, and today we're talking about the top 10 things that you can do with your dog here in the greater Cincinnati area. Let's start with number one, visit the Hamilton County Parks. The Cincinnati area is home to several fantastic parks that are perfect for outdoor adventures with your dog. One such park in Hamilton County is Winton Woods Park, which boasts over 2,500 acres of natural beauty, including trails, lakes, and picnic areas. Another park is the Mount Airy Forest, which offers 1,500 acres of wooded trails and off-leash areas for dogs to romp and play around to their heart's content. If you wanna try a different park, try the Washington Park Dog Park. That's located in the heart of downtown Cincinnati. That's a vibrant public park that features a dedicated off-leash dog park. The dog is, park is fully fenced, offers separate areas for small dogs and large dogs, as well as water fountains and waste disposal stations. That's a great place for your furry friend to socialize and play with other dogs in a safe and supervised environment. You could also take a stroll at the Smalley Park at Riverfront Park, that's downtown Cincinnati. Not only do you get the beautiful views in the downtown area, but if you bring your dog and keep him on a leash, you'll see the scenic walking paths, the landscape gardens, and there's also a dog-friendly water feature called the Foot Piano, where your puppy or pooch or a little doggy can play around and splash around on a hot summer day. Number two, enjoying dog-friendly breweries and restaurants. So Cincinnati is known for its thriving craft beer scene and many breweries and restaurants in the area are dog-friendly. Some popular dog-friendly breweries include the Rheingeist, Taft's Brewing Company, and Mad Tree Brewing. Many of these establishments have outdoor patios where dogs are welcome, and some even have a special dog-friendly menu or event. Later, we're gonna tell you specifically about one that's more out in the suburbs as well. Number three, go on a dog-friendly riverboat cruise. If you want to try a unique experience in Cincinnati, maybe take your puppy to a dog-friendly riverboat cruise along the Ohio River. Companies like B&B Riverboats here in town offer special cruises that allow dogs on board so you can enjoy the sights and sounds of the river while your furry friend soaks up the fresh air and sunshine. Number four, enjoy the Cincinnati Nature Center. So if you and your dog enjoy hiking and exploring nature and you don't wanna see a lot of concrete jungle around, the Cincinnati Nature Center is a must visit destination. This is near Milford, Ohio, just east of Cincinnati. There's 1,600 nature acre preserved land, and it also offers miles of scenic trails that wind through forests, meadows, wetlands, and of course, there's ponds and other water features that you're just gonna love with your dog. Dogs are welcome on the trails, but they must be on a leash at all times. Number five, attend a dog-friendly festival or event here in town. So Cincinnati hosts several dog-friendly events and festivals throughout the year where you can bring your dog along for some fun-filled experiences. So here's some examples. The Dog Days of Summer event at the Finley Market. So the Finley Market actually allows dogs to join all the time, but this is one specific event that they really welcome dogs called the Dog Days of Summer. There's also special vendors and activities for dogs. There's also a Halloween, Halloween. Uh, can you say that, Halloween? That is at the Washington Park. That's another popular event for dogs. The Cincinnati Reds also have a special day where you can bring your uh, dog to a baseball game and that's called the Bark in the Park. Uh, there's also a restaurant called the Back Porch Dead Low Brewery Restaurant. 
you can do, that's a uh, you know, special event where you can actually get a picture with Santa and your puppy. And this food there is also great for humans too. So keep an eye out for those events and make sure to check the dog friendly policies before you go. Number six, kayaking on the Little Miami River. This is a national and state scenic river as we've mentioned and the views are amazing. So there's something to do for everybody, kids, adults, and even dogs. Uh, we've been going down to this specific uh, kayak and canoe rental place for probably 25 years or so. There's either a two and a half mile or a five mile stretch that you can do where they uh, load you up into their vans, take you up the river, and then you float back down or paddle back down, and you can bring your dog along with you for some of the fun. A little tip is that you could stop along the way and get out on one of the little sandy river banks and let the dog kind of explore around or swim in the water, maybe skip some rocks while you're there, bring a little picnic lunch, extend that time out a little bit, that makes it a little bit more fun. Number seven, paddle board at Sharon Woods Lake. So Sharon Woods Lake is a picturesque lake. It's located in Sharon Woods Park and that's in the greater Cincinnati area. The lake is known for its serene setting, surrounded by wooded areas and walking trails. You can do boating, fishing, or wildlife viewing there, unless your dog scares them off. The lake's also a popular spot for outdoor recreation and relaxation. You can rent a kayak or canoe there, and maybe put your favorite little pooch up there with you on uh, the boat. It's a peaceful destination for nature lovers and out outdoor enthusiasts here in Cincinnati. Number eight. 50 West Brewery. Well, this is the place I told you that it would be in the suburbs. It's a brewery and it's pet friendly. So this is a craft brewery and brew pub located in the greater Cincinnati area, just outside of the uh, Marymont and Newtown area near Terrace Park. Uh, this is a uh, place that offers a variety of beers on tap, ranging from IPAs to stouts to lagers and more. Uh, this brewery also has a family friendly and dog friendly area and it also serves really good food. So if you wanna go check it out with an outdoor, laid back out, uh, outdoor environment, where it's kind of uh, chill there on the summertime especially, I would go check them out. A couple bonuses there, you can uh, watch people play sand volleyball in the sand volleyball courts. And there is uh, an access uh, point there to the Ohio Erie Trail, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Number nine, Ohio Erie Trail. So besides going through all your favorite little towns, Newtown, Milford, Miamiville, Branch Hill, and Loveland. There is a off trail kind of area. So a lot of people use that for mountain biking, um, right beside the paved trail and down like the uh, grassy area, you can uh, walk your dogs and be, you know, not as hot on their feet. Um, you can horseback ride there. You can use your mountain bike if you want, you know, more of an off-road experience. Um, some people just like to walk there instead of walking on the blacktop. So that is definitely a great option. In each town you go through, you're going to find little water dishes set out for your dog, uh, little places to sit. So we bring our little doggies along. Just last week, uh, we were down at the Works restaurant, which is off the bike trail in Loveland, and the server brought out a little dish of water and it had ice cubes in it and Cody thought that was pretty cool, didn't you Cody? Number 10, take a dog friendly road trip near Cincinnati, Ohio. So we started by giving you nine dog friendly things here with some bonuses right here in Cincinnati, Ohio. But if you're willing to take a little uh, trip out of Cincinnati and use Cincinnati as your hub, I'm gonna give you some pretty cool dog friendly destinations. So first of all, right outside of Cincinnati is Hocking Hills. That's about 90 minutes northeast toward Columbus. Uh, there's amazing like scenic trails, waterfalls, uh, gorges, uh, caves. Uh, if you haven't been to Hocking Hills before, take your dog, take them for a walk. There's cabins you can rent up there as well. Definitely recommend that. If you wanna go 90 minutes south, go to Red River Gorge, very similar type of setting. You get uh, walking trails, biking trails, um, caves, uh, huge vista views, mountains, and uh, definitely dog friendly as well. If you wanna go a little bit further, about three or four hours north, you can get to Lake Michigan. A lot of people don't realize that Cincinnati is so close to so many things, but you can actually go up there and uh, go to Lake Michigan and be right on the beaches. And there's many, many, many dog friendly beaches up there uh, in, in the Michigan area. And then if you wanna go a little bit further south, about four hours south of here, um, you can get into Gatlinburg, uh, Tennessee. 
and we go there pretty frequently about once a year with the kids and dog but you can actually walk right up and down the city streets and the little town there and uh, dog dog friendly of course so in conclusion as Cody's about to fall asleep here Greater Cincinnati is a great place for dogs for kids for walking and we do offer a wide range of places to take your dog. If you're thinking about buying a home here in the greater Cincinnati area and you're interested in some of these dog friendly places and maybe you just wanna walk straight from your house down the street into one of these business districts or a park or something and you're curious which neighborhoods might be better for that, just reach out to us with that uh, phone number or text us there below and we will get you the most dog friendly places we can uh, based upon where you want to be, how close your workplace is, uh, how long you want your commute to be, um, kind of what parks you want to be close to your neighborhood, all that kind of thing. So uh, we'll go ahead and sign off for today. It looks like Cody is ready to go back to sleep. He naps about, you know, 20 hours a day, I think. Um, we'll be happy to give you some information on dog friendly places to live, work, play, and of course travel. So leash up your pup, head over to Greater Cincinnati, Ohio, and we'll be talking to you soon. Have a great day.